Last time we had Scarfy cheerfully running around collecting coins, clink clink clink, but there was a looming problem. You see, every one of those coins and every object on screen was loading its own texture files and sound files, which is obviously a big waste when you've got 200 copies of the same coin. What it's doing is it's, it's increasing the loading time, it's dramatically increasing the amount of memory that's needed and the memory bandwidth needed to render the scene. So the game is well on its way to become such a resource hog that it won't be able to run on lower end machines, which would be ridiculous because it's a 2D platformer. What we need is something called a resource manager. So let's add that now. So how does a resource manager solve our problem? Well, the resource manager's uh, entire task is to share resources amongst multiple objects. So what happens is uh, external code will ask the resource manager to load a, let's say a texture file, and the resource manager will check, do I have a copy of this file already in my cache? If so, it will return it. If not, it will load it from disk, add it to the cache, and then return that to the caller. So that's the way it works. What we want to do is to make a simple version of our own. So we're not going to aim for the most optimized resource manager. We're not going to make it thread safe. We want something that works and is easy to understand. Most important is that it will share loaded resources amongst multiple objects and then automatically deallocate them once the objects are gone, once nobody's using that resource anymore. So let's have a look at the code. What I've done is I have created a template class called resource manager. And there are three key C++ SDL classes that we're using to achieve this. The first one is the unordered map. So this unordered map, um, it's a container that allows us to map a file name, which is a string, to a loaded texture or sound file or whatever. The next one that we're using is a shared pointer. You'll see when we, the, the load function up here, returns a shared pointer to the newly loaded object. And the shared pointer will keep track of how many people are using this object. So that's the, that's the way we keep track of, is the object still in use? And then finally, we use a weak pointer. Now, a weak pointer is one, it points to the object, but it doesn't have shared access to it. To access it through this pointer, you need to lock it. And the reason we do that is basically we keep it in the cache until no external objects are using it. And then once the shared count goes to zero, then it gets wiped. So this class works for any resource whose C++ class has a basic constructor of this form. So a constructor that takes a file name as input. And from that, we create some predefined uh, resource managers. First one is a texture manager for the textures. We have a sound manager for sound objects, and we have a music manager for music playback. So with this resource manager done, what we need to do now is to rework the rest of the Scarfy code to use the resource managers instead of loading things directly. So we need to go through, do a bit of a search and replace. Uh, add some include resource manager here and there. And then that should be done. So let's run it. And what you want to do is pay close attention to the terminal window, which spits out what files it's loading. And you'll notice that now the list is a lot shorter. Before it was scrolling off the page like crazy as it was loading 200 copies of things. And now just loads one of each and it's done. So mission accomplished we've got the resource usage down to a sane level. See you next time.